Hey, this is Paul, and I'm with Jim, uh, one of our manufacturing engineers and the manager of the uh, of the production and the manufacturing that we do. So sometimes we can have a prototype done. Uh, I can have an idea in, in the morning, and we can have a working prototype done in the evening, and that's pretty exciting. Um, the clamper did not go like that. That took three years. Uh, I did make this. This probably took about a month altogether. Um, I made this by hand and it didn't work for crap, but uh, there was some usable ideas in it. Um, and, then, uh, and then what happens next is I will hand off the drawings to Jim and Jim will come up with, he'll do some design work on it and he'll come up with something like this and then I'll say but about every two months on this project I'd say Jim all that work you did we gotta throw in the garbage can because I got another tiny little detail which means we have to redesign the whole thing um, and Jim what's what's the story on this one? So anyway this is the first prototype we made on the CNC machines um, it's kind of a fun story this is Willie and he helps out a lot in the shop <laughs> Um, anyway, Paul, you know, he started with this, we put it on a bike, it didn't really stop a bike, but we had enough to go on, and so I started drawing all this stuff up and modeling it, and so we made, this is, I think, seven pieces uh, that we make on the CNC, and so this is the very first prototype that we did on the CNC, and it, as you can see, it's very similar to... <laughs> it's very similar to the final one that we sell today, but you can also tell that it's really blocky and bulky and it's heavy and it just isn't aesthetically that pleasing. And so that's where Paul comes in is I'll put one on, you know, he'll put one on a bike, he'll ride it. And sometimes it works great, sometimes it doesn't work so great. Uh, so we, you know, work on that. But then we also want it to look good. And so he'll be like, well, maybe we can move these bolts from the front to the back and maybe use smaller bolts and slim it up here, take some out over here and maybe make a different looking uh, front thing or whatever. And so that's kind of what, what goes into that process. I think between this version here, which was three years ago, and this version here, I think I went through nine or ten different uh, versions as far as the different, different types of, uh, you know, every time you make one change, you pretty much have to change everything else. So that's the way it works.